What this auto racing series is about is technology. And if you use the tool right, you're gonna go fast. A revolution is underway that knows no boundaries. A global revolution in the use of information technology that is dramatically changing life on the planet and how people live, work, learn, and play. While other technology shows are preoccupied with the latest hardware and software, SCAN features engaging people, places, and images that illustrate the scope and human dimensions of the technology revolution. Scanning the worlds of business, the arts, education, and entertainment, each half-hour episode includes a segment on how technology has dramatically changed a particular activity, from the New York Stock Exchange going wireless to Bangkok commuters using the new information tools to beat the gridlock. Every day, your money is at work. So it's important to ask, what do I know about the firm managing my investments? What is their mindset, their philosophy, their culture? Not being distracted with either brokerage or selling reports or doing mortgages or, or any other part of the business, but only doing money management, allows us to stay relatively tight uh, to what the history of money management firms were all about. Stewardship means responsibility. From the time that Lord Abbott started uh, in, in 1929 to today, uh, we know that we're here for one reason, and that is to manage money in our clients' best interest. Lord Abbott is an independent, privately held firm with a singular focus on the management of money. This is very much uh, like a small group of people putting together a piece of jewelry where they're really intimately involved in every aspect uh, of, of the process. You want craftsmen to have the best tools available. If you're talking about quantitative investing as a black box that gives you rules on exactly when you do things, that is something that does not work in a craft environment. We really believe in, in the roots of money management, which was three smart guys in a room who think they can be the best at the world at something. Our heritage of independence, combined with our stable leadership, has allowed us to build a culture that fosters clear judgment and objective insight. These traits have served our clients through every market cycle since the Great Depression. Being independent allows us to be accountable to only one person and that's the client. The advantage of our independence for our clients is the fact that we don't have to do things for corporate reasons. The key to winning this game is to separate emotion from intellect. And If you separate emotion from intellect and you do what truly is fundamentally right for the client and you ignore the go-go periods both on the upside as well as the downside, at the end of the day you're going to win. We have the resources to send analysts out into the field, visit oil companies, manufacturing companies, look at that plant and equipment, and really understand how those companies are operating. That's going to make a difference in the long run for performance. Are our stakeholders, as we construct a prudent portfolio with individual stocks with very attractive reward risk ratios, if we're doing that appropriately, we don't have to be right all the time. But if we're right most of the time, we're going to have many investments that do very well that make up for the few that have limited downside risk. Our investment teams employ a rigorous approach with a long-term view. They apply a time-tested investment process, work within dedicated teams, and are organized by specific investment disciplines. The advantage of having independent investment teams is that the careers, the performance of 
every investment professional on, on that team is bound in the same way to the performance of the client. Every team is measured by long-term performance against a benchmark, not by assets gathered. Any benchmark you want to assign to me, I want to beat it. And if I beat the one that you've assigned to me, I'm going to look for the next challenge. I want to pursue the investment methodology I think is right. One of America's oldest money management firms, Lord Abbott has consistently served the investment needs of generations of shareholders, financial advisors, and institutions. It's a culture that the generations of partners that came before us and that passes on to the next. When you meet somebody who's actually had a portfolio that's done very well, that they received from their parents, and they say it's a Lord Abbott portfolio, there's no other thrill that I can name that's as exciting as that. It means that we've done our job. Today, we continue to serve as the trusted steward of more than $100 billion in client assets. The only reason Lord Abbott is here every single day, the only reason we open our doors every day, is to manage money in our clients' interests long term. We're about good, solid investment disciplines that work well over time. All of these different people, in all of these different places, connected by a common denominator of modern life. Tiny microprocessors that didn't exist 30 years ago, which are leading us into a new age. I'm correspondent Mike Saray. Join me and 100 of the world's top photojournalists on a global mission to show how the microchip is changing our world in the course of a single day. Intel Corporation is proud to bring you One Digital Day, a photographic journey around the globe that captures the amazing ways people use technology. In the past, we've done books where we took one day and looked at a culture in one country. What we've done with this project is shown a, a, a technology that's now woven into the fabric of civilization in every corner of the globe all in one day. Photojournalist Rick Smola, the creator of the Day in the Life books and 24 Hours in Cyberspace, dispatched over 100 photojournalists on another global mission, this time to show how central microprocessors have become to everyday life everywhere. We purposely asked the photographers to go out of their way not to have people sitting in front of computers. What we're trying to show with this project is the effect this technology has on every aspect of human life. One of the problems of trying to do this in a single day around the world is you have to deal with the local weather wherever you are. It's not so good here in Shanghai, but since we have 100 photographers around the world on six continents, it's bound to be good weather somewhere. History Today, it is happening all around the world. Pictures are being taken of modern computer technology. The 36-hour day began in Asia with a morning commute, a universal dilemma of modern life. One digital day solution in Bangkok was to work through it, as we discovered these executives doing in rented vans, equipped with the latest telecommuting tools. 